For today's episode, let's turn to Ashley Chisholm for a look at Adventist history. This week, we'll learn about the life and ministry of John Mark Hopkins. Welcome to This Week in Adventist History. This week, we focus on an ordinary church member totally involved in spreading the gospel. In the February 18, 1902 issue of the Advent Review and Sabbath Herald, the following poem appears. I know there's help in thee, my Lord, for every earthly woe, a balm for every aching heart of mortals here below. I know it, for thy word declares all power is given to thee. And all who seek thy face in prayer shall thy salvation see. I know it, for my soul has felt thy gracious power to save. Thy loving care hath borne me up to walk the troubled wave. Dear Savior, may I trust thee still, e'en in the darkest hour. And when temptations press me sore, then manifest thy power. Its writer, John Mark Hopkins, was a frequent contributor of poems and articles for the review. Born in Canada in 1847, Hopkins accompanied his parents to the U.S. state of Minnesota, where he grew up. A Baptist from an early age, Hopkins became a Seventh-day Adventist in the 1870s, when he was around 32 years of age. From then on, Hopkins earnestly spread, quote, the message which he loved. An elder in his local church, he preached and sold Adventist literature, and, of course, he contributed to the church's paper, The Review. Hopkins died October 23, 1927, a little over 80 years of age, and upon receiving the news, the review commented that the earnest, devoted man had been, quote, for years one of the oldest and most frequent contributors to the review. His writings have always been highly spiritual and were greatly appreciated throughout the world. Known well enough to have his photograph accompanying his obituary, Hopkins has faded into obscurity in the hundred years or so since his death. But while Hopkins and others like him may have been largely forgotten, their steady local work for God's kingdom and their faith in God's power has global reverberations even today. Hopkins' story comes from this week in Adventist history. <laughs> 